Question 1. Find the values or range of value of P such that the equations of questions A here has two equal roots. So from these informations, we know that the value of the discriminants for the quadratic equations here is equal to zero. So first, I'm going to write these quadratic equations in general form. So I'm going to move this 4px to the left hand side. So this is in general form. Therefore, we know that the a is equal to 9. The b is equal to negative 4p. And the c is equal to p plus 1. Next, we're going to substitute all the information here into the discriminant as we know that it is equal to 0. So you're going to have negative 4p squared minus 4 times 9 times p plus 1 equal to 0. So here you're going to have 16p squared. So here you're going to have 4 times 9, so negative 36 times p, which is negative 36p. And then negative 36 times positive 1, negative 36 equal to 0. Next, this value of a, b, c here, 16, 36, and 36, I can divide it by 4. So I'm going to have 4p squared minus 9p minus 9 equal to 0. Next, I'm going to do the factorizations for this part. So you're going to get p minus 3, another one is 4p plus 3 equal to 0. So here, p minus 3 equal to 0 or 4p plus 3 equal to 0. So finally, you're going to have p equal to 3 or p equal to negative 3 over 4. Question B. So these quadratic equations has two real and different roots. So from this information, we know that the value of the discriminants for the quadratic equations B is greater than 0. So first, we're going to expand for this part and we're going to move this P to the left hand side so that we can write this in general form. So x squared plus 2x squared plus 3x minus p equal to 0. Next, we're going to solve for the likes term. x squared plus 2x squared is 3x squared plus 3x minus p equal to 0. So from here, we know that the a is equal to 3, the b is equal to 3, and the c is equal to negative p. So we know that the discriminant is greater than 0. So we're going to substitute the value that we have here into the discriminant. 3 squared minus 4, the a is 3, and the c is negative p, greater than 0. So here you're going to have 9. So here you're going to have negative 12 times negative p, which is plus 12p, greater than 0. Next, I'm going to move this 9 to the right-hand side. 12p greater than negative 9. So p is greater than negative 9 divided by 12. So simplify this, you're going to get p is greater than negative 3 over 4. Question C. This quadratic equation has no real roots, which means the value of the discriminant of these questions is less than 0. So first, for this quadratic equations, we're going to expand for this part. So you're going to have next, here you're going to have p squared minus 3p minus p plus 3 equal to 0. Next, we're going to solve for the likes terms here. So here you're going to have minus 4p plus 3 equal to 0. So this has been written in general form. Therefore, the a is equal to 1, b is 2p, and the c is p squared minus 4p plus 3. So to find the value of p, we know that 
the discriminants of this quadratic equation is less than zero. So we have to substitute ABC here into the discriminants. 2P squared minus 4, the A is 1. And C is P squared minus 4P plus 3, less than 0. Here is 4P squared. So here we're going to have negative 4 times P squared, negative 4P squared. Negative 4 times negative 4P, so it's going to be a positive 16P. Negative 4 times positive 3, negative 12, less than 0. 4P squared minus 4P squared is equal to 0. So next you want to have 16P minus 12, less than 0. Next, move this negative 12 to the right hand side. You're going to have positive 12. So P is less than 12 divided by 16. Simplify this, you're going to have 3 over 4. So P is less than 3 over 4. Question number 2. Find the range of value of K if the equations x squared plus k equal to kx minus 3 has two real and different roots. State the value of k if the equations has two real and equal roots. So these two questions here, they are using the same equations. So first we got to find the range of value of k. So first we're going to write the quadratic equations given in equations in general form. So I'm going to move everything to the left hand side. So you're going to have x squared minus kx plus k plus 3 equal to 0. So from here we know the a is equal to 1, the b equal to negative k, and c equal to k plus 3. Now to find the range of value of k, we know that the discriminants will be greater than 0. So here the b is negative k squared minus 4, the a is 1, and the c is k plus 3 greater than 0. So here you want to have k squared. So here 4 times 1 is 4, negative 4 times k is negative 4k. So negative 4 times positive 3 is negative 12 greater than 0. So from here we can do the factorization. So you're going to get k minus 6 k plus 2 greater than 0. So this is the quadratic inequalities. So you can solve this either using the graph sketching method, the number lines method, or the table method. So first we need to find the roots. So we're going to let this quadratic inequalities equal to 0. So k minus 6 equal to 0, or k plus 2 equal to 0. So k equal to 6 or the k equal to negative 2. So for this quadratic inequalities, I'm going to solve it using the graph sketching method. So let's say this is the graph. So we have the roots negative 2 here. Another one is here 6. So this quadratic inequalities is greater than 0, which means the range of value of k is determined above the x axis. Therefore, the range of value of k So the k is less than negative 2 or the k is greater than 6. Now we're going to move to the second part, state the value of k if the equations have two real and equal roots, which means the value of the discriminants is equal to 0. Now from this part, We already let the discriminants equal to 0. Therefore, the values of k, the k is equal to 6 or the k is equal to negative 2. Question number 3. 
the quadratic equations x squared plus hx plus k equal to 0 has roots of negative 2 and 6. So find a the value of h and k. So let us solve for question a first. Now, when the roots are given, then you can form the quadratic equations. So first we want to find the sum of roots, which is negative 2 plus 6. This is equal to 4. And the product of roots is going to be negative 2 times 6, which is equal to negative 12. Now we can form the quadratic equations x squared minus the sum of roots x plus the product of roots equal to 0. So here our sum of roots is 4 and our product of roots is negative 12 equal to 0. So the, the equation is x squared minus 4x minus 12 equal to 0. Now to find the value of h and k, we are going to do the comparison. So the h is the coefficients for the x. And the coefficients for the x that we find here is negative 4. Therefore, the h is equal to negative 4. And the k is the c. So the c that we find here is equal to negative 12. So the k is equal to negative 12. Now we're going to move to questions B. Find the range of value of C such that the equations x squared plus hx plus k equal to C has no real roots, which means the value of the discriminant of this quadratic equations is less than zero. Now, from the questions A, we already know what is the value of h and k, so I'm going to substitute it here. So x squared minus 4x minus 12 equal to c. So I'm going to write this in general form, so move everything to the left hand side. So you're going to get minus 12 minus c equal to 0. So from here, we know that the a is equal to 1, the b is negative 4, and the c is negative 12 minus c. No real root. So this quadratic equation is discriminant will less than 0. So substitute the value b, a, c into here. Less than 0. So here you're going to have 16. So here is negative 4 times negative 12, which is positive 48. Negative 4 times negative c. So plus 4c less than 0. So this part will give you the answer of 64. Next, move this 64 to the right hand side. You're going to have negative 64. So c is less than negative 64 divided by 4. So c is less than negative 16. Question number 4. The equations here has two real and equal roots, which means the value of the discriminant of these equations is equal to 0. So the question is asking you to express k in terms of h which means we're going to let the k to be the subject of the formula. So this quadratic equation has been written in general form. Therefore, we know that the a is equal to h, the b is equal to 3h, and the c is equal to h plus k. And the discriminant is equal to 0. So you want to have 3h, square minus so the a is h and the c is h plus k so here you're going to have 9 h square 
So here you want to have negative 4h times h, which is negative 4h squared. Negative 4h times positive k, you want to have negative 4h k equal to 0. Now solve for the like term here, you're going to have 5h squared minus 4h k equal to 0. So here we're going to let the k to be the subject of the formula. So I'm going to move this 5h squared to the right hand side. So it will be negative 5h squared. So this negative negative on both sides, we can cancel it. So let the k to be the subject of the formula. So I got to move this 4h to the other side. So 5h squared divided by 4h. So this h here, we can simplify it. Therefore, finally, k is equal to 5h over 4. Question number 5. Given the quality equations, ax squared minus 5bx plus 4a equal to 0, where n b are constants, has two real n's equal roots. Find the ratio a to b. Now from these informations, we know that the value of the discriminants of these quality equations is equal to 0. So these quality equations already written in general forms. Therefore, the A is equal to A, the B is equal to negative 5B, and the C is equal to 4A. So the discriminants will equal to 0, as it has two real and equal roots. So it's going to be negative 5B squared minus 4, the A is still A, and the C is 4A equal to 0. So here you're going to have 25b squared. So here is going to be negative 4a times 4a, which is negative 16a squared equal to 0. Now as this is the ratio a to b, so I'm going to move this 25b squared to the right hand side. So negative 16a squared equal to negative 25b squared. So both sides we have a negative, so I can cancel it. Next, I'm going to move this b square to the left hand side and this 16 to the right hand side. So you're going to get a square over b square equal to 25 over 16. So for this part, this is the same as a over b squared. So next we're going to move this square to the right hand side. So a over b equal to square root of 25 over 16. As this question asking you to find the ratio, so we're just going to take the positive value only. Therefore a over b equal to 5 over 4. So the ratio of a to b is equal to 5 to 4.